welcome back so let me quickly go to our excel sheet and just revise what all we have learnt we know now how to handle click and if you want to type something or if you want to grab the text okay so these three are the main events performed for any web automation clicking or typing something in boxes or grabbing the text so we were clear on these three topics and also um, we have seen how to traverse through an array and how to deal with each and every index present in the array of web elements so this is also one of the important concepts so let's also write that iterating over the array of web elements using each nice so in this lecture i am going to introduce one more concept of cypress this is a core concept about asynchronous what is asynchronous basically javascript itself is asynchronous so any tool which is built on top of our node.js which is javascript will be asynchronous cypress is built on node.js and it's pure javascript program so this also have an asynchronous behavior so when i say asynchronous now when you run this program and in general if it is synchronous every step will execute in sequence manner but whereas in asynchronous nature all the steps will hit the server at a time i mean even if it is sequential let's say now it tries to hit this url and it will not wait until it completes loading the url it will quickly go to the another step and immediately it just moves to another step so it will not wait that step to complete and it will just quickly execute each and every step and do not really worry about the state of the previous step so within a millisecond gap all these steps will hit a server so in general people say that a synchronous way of executing is to execute any step whatever is available right now if i just write cy dot log hello what happens so right now i did not yet teach log so let me show console dot log console dot log will print something in your output it's like system dot out print ln in java so when you run this it will try to hit url in the browser but browser is taking some time to open so it will not wait it will just execute all the steps very quick and it just prints as if in the beginning so that means whatever step is available to execute it will just go and execute but it will not guarantee you in a sequence order if if the behavior is asynchronous selenium java is synchronous so there you will see sequence of execution but when you see protractor protractor is one also based upon node js and it's a javascript program and that is also an asynchronous so you cannot give guarantee of sequence of execution so how does cypress handle now we were not seeing any uh, asynchronous issue here right it's just like every step is executing in a sequence of what we expected but in general cypress is asynchronous so problem here is i will take to their official documentation to explain this basically by nature cypress as follows javascript nature it comes with asynchronous but it have an engine in itself to make sure to execute all the steps in sequence they have written wrappers in the back end so that though this script behaves as asynchronous they are handling that in such a way that they were making sure that every step execute in the sequence that's handled by cypress guys okay they are taking care internally but whereas in protractor um sometimes you may have to deal yourself 
even in cyprus there are some events which you need to deal yourself but most of the time cyprus gives us um, sequence execution let us see how they are giving okay they have given a neat example here commands are asynchronous read this it is very important to understand that cypress commands don't do anything at the moment they are invoked okay so right now cy dot visit it will hit the url nothing happens browser is opening so it will quickly go to this step and this has no life and it could not find anything it will go to another step so like this it will quickly just execute without waiting that previous state to finish but cypress have an ability that they will queue all the commands whatever it have and cypress will make sure to run them in order okay so that's the headache cypress is taking care it have a headache because javascript is asynchronous and cypress also turn to asynchronous but from user perspective from an end user you need not worry about all the synchronous and asynchronous cypress is taking care and it will make sure it executes in the sequence okay so and also one important thing you have to know here let me write it first saying cypress is asynchronous in nature and there is no guarantee in sequence of execution but cypress takes care of it i hope you understood this in why did i say is asynchronous in nature because the way it is developed on node js and javascript by default that will be an asynchronous but they have written wrappers which makes that to have in synchronous nature now in asynchronous every step returns promise what is promise here promise is nothing but a state or behavior of your step so what state your step is in whether it is executed or whether it is pending so promise comes in three different types resolved when we say promise is resolved that means the step is executed and when you say promise is rejected then there is error in this step and promise is pending that means this step is yet to execute that means it's trying to load but you are not willing to wait there so promise comes in three different stages so with a uh, rejection resolved and pending so every asynchronous step returns a promise and state will be one of these okay now let me scroll down to show you the example what they were saying ideally you have to wait until promise is resolved isn't it now these are your steps technically for a second let's assume that cypress is not taking care of uh, running them in order so what to do if you want to sequence execution you know that every asynchronous step returns promise and we have to wait until promise is resolved when promise is resolved then only we will know that that step is executed and now move to the next step but how do we know and how do we come to know whether promise is resolved or not so there is a method called dot then okay if you write this method concatenated to this step so this then method will wait until this promise is resolved that means this step is executed and then then only it will move to next step now let me show you that yeah look at here first of all we have given cy dot visit to go to url and here they have clearly given then so then stands for do not rush into next step because this is asynchronous we have to hold it wait until the step is resolved then only move to next step okay we don't do all this in selenium because that is synchronous so we were asking promise to resolve wait until promise is resolved and that happens when you give then method and again this step is executed this after again before going to next you have to say then wait again promise to resolve and you will click on it 
so basically if you observe for every step you have to write then 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 because you are saying that wait when the step is completed then only move to next step it's all resolving promise but what cypress is saying this is all noisy demonstration promise demonstration ideally this is how you have to write because cypress is asynchronous in nature but what these guys are saying how cypress is really looks like promise wrapped up and hidden from us they were saying we have internally taken care of concatenating this then method for each and every step so you don't worry they were saying that this is just for a demonstration this is how ideally it should look as it is asynchronous but we removed this noisy steps for you and we made it very clear that you focus only on your step and don't worry about this then method we will internally take care of all this and we are wrapping up that promises on our back end and we are hiding from you so you just blindly write a steps in a synchronous fashion so you treat that your cypress is synchronous only when you write but the secret here is cypress is not synchronous it's asynchronous but just because we got a benefit that they are taking that headache and pain internally and making us as synchronous for front end okay this concept you have to know um many of us are confused that it's just like selenium running in sequence yes but there is lot of pain went in the back end to make that happen okay so i hope you understood what is asynchronous and when cypress is asynchronous uh, what pain they were taking in the back end to make us resolved and you understood with then method right every step returns promise a rejection resolved pending and if you want to wait until that step is resolved then you have to give then method which cypress is taking internally all right that's the concept now using this concept i am going to explain one more tricky example in the next lecture okay wait for it see you in the next lecture thank you